What is that, bro? It's gonna make for a, sh a harsher ride. But race car. But race car. It's like I bought it at Walmart or yeah, something. Yeah, that thing probably sits on a shelf. Oh, there you go. Okay. What up, dudes? It's your buddy Aaron. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are dressed up disguised like a technician so that we can sneak into a Toyota dealership. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bang out a 20,000 mile service on our RAV4. And we're also gonna be working on our buddy's GR Corolla because he's got a couple pretty sweet mods that he wants to add to the Corolla. Nothing crazy, but a couple very helpful mods that are simple and uh, aesthetically pleasing. So I threw on the best looking technician shirt that I got. I actually got a technician shirt from my glass company. So, you know, I'm out here. I'm gonna try and blend in with these technicians so that, you know, they won't kick me out of there. Got some GR content to bring to you guys. And I also just wanted to kind of chat with you guys while we're driving there. So we're gonna go see Jesse and we are gonna start working on our whips. And uh, yeah, I wanna talk about this G35 that we have posted for sale right now. And uh, just kind of get some input, kind of answer some of you guys' questions. We just detailed this thing yesterday and it is looking pretty decent. It was really rough. This is our workhorse thing. We drive the crap out of this thing. We bought it last year. We already got 19, 19, almost 20,000 miles. We're going in for the 20K right now. Get that oil change tire rotation. Um, we had a little deformation on the steering wheel, changing out the steering wheel. I'm gonna be upgrading to the uh, XSE because this is just a base model. Um, yeah, it's just for us to get around. But we're gonna be upgrading to the XSE uh sun visors so that they have a little flap that comes out because the sun visor only comes out to here and all the sun comes through this right side so if i had that flap then i won't be getting sunburned and i got that sunburn skin you know what i'm saying man so the whole selling the g35 thing i definitely stirred it up stirred up the pot a little bit with that you know i've lost some subscribers i got a lot of people selling telling me that they support me they understand completely you know that they're kind of in the same boat you know they're a little older now they got more responsibilities they don't drive it as much they want to sell it but then they're then again they're like but then again i don't have i don't have as much as you do into the car like some people are telling me just keep it you can give it to your kids one day this and that and i totally get it trust me i slept on this for a year before i made the decision to want to sell it i would never look at it as i can always just build another one because i really wouldn't want to the amount of like stress time and money that i put into this one there's no reason why i would want to sell this one just to build another one and financially that's just not the right decision to make you know I'd, so i'd have to go to a different platform if i was going to buy something or build something else if i were to sell this one uh really what i would do with the money when i sell this thing is is buy some property buy a house and uh and start a family and uh do what i believe is more important at in my stage of life right now i mean i'm 27 my wife is 30 um so it's uh that's something that we've been thinking about and that's something we got to consider as the most important thing she is number one in my book honestly youtube's a full-time job it's tough to to hold up to the standards stay competitive and produce consistent content being consistent is the key to success but it's also one of the most difficult tasks to achieve it's, it's staying consistent even at your lowest times or your hardest times however it's not that I'm giving up on it or, or giving up on YouTube. I would still like to make content and continue it, but I'm just focusing all of my efforts into building a business, which is something that I know will give me financial freedom one day and uh, will enable me to build projects and give you guys good content and do car stuff as a hobby and not as a full-time job, if that makes any sense. Shout out to Be Distinct. I mean, look at him. He, he went after a career while also still maintaining the video schedule. I know that shit wasn't easy. I know he was up super late at night, like stressing about how he's gonna fix his cars, fix them, uh, create videos and edit them and get everything released for the next day or, or, or whatever it may be. He's been through it and he doesn't really show it and he's got such a good, uh, you know, upbeat, uh, mentality, a strong, hardworking mentality, and uh, and he's got the right personality for it too. So definitely commend commend be this thing, Danny Z. You know everybody that uh, that was coming up with me at the time, and how I, I did kind of fall back and fall off, and and everybody's just kind of kind of passing. But I don't look at it like that. I love seeing these people succeed in what they love doing. I'm all for it. I'm still supporting them, you know, liking, loving, commenting. I'm still in the community. You know, I still enjoy it, but I'm also, I'm in, I'm in construction now. Like I got to worry about hiring people and doing jobs for people and getting leads and, you know, run, owning and operating a business. And when you first start a business, the first like five years are the most difficult 
parts of that of, of starting the business and uh, that's when you're just putting all of your time uh, blood sweat and tears into that and so you know by the time I get home at 8 9 o'clock at night I'm not trying to film a YouTube video work on the car take the G out and worry about the stresses of that um, but that's just currently you know with that being said I don't even know if the G35 is actually gonna sell especially for what I want for it and what I want for it is a very fair price I mean I would take 20k I posted it for 25 I would take 20k for it but it has to go to somebody who really knows you know listen I understand 20k is a lot to invest in a project car you know um, nobody just has 20k to go oh let me just go buy a twin turbo G35 real quick that has already been done up most people want to build their own race car and make it the way that they want to make it and with 20k that's a that's a good ass budget that's a great budget to start with obviously I've got well over 30k into the entire car but you're never gonna get obviously what you spent in mods and everything on the car uh, when you sell the car as a whole maybe if I parted it out I could probably get 20 to 25 um, but that's a lot of work to go through especially after I've just made it perfectly I just buttoned it up it's running it's driving amazing so trust me I've, I've gone through all of the like best possible scenarios on what is the best way to get my money out of it if I did want to get rid of it um, but with me working so much like I don't have the time to meet people all over the place and pull parts off of my car just to sell them you know I've already parted out my last G I parted out a G for uh, Matt which is a friend of mine um, when his boosted G got totaled and um, we were able to, you know, at least pick up any change that he had invested in the car uh, without getting just a, a crappy uh, insurance check for five grand after he, you know, did a twin turbo build and everything. Anyway, thank you for listening to my rant. We should be pulling up to Toyota shortly here and we will start working on the RAV, get a little service knocked out. Nobody cares about that. And then we'll check out the GR and see what we got going on for the GR today. Check it out, boys. We got the RAV4 under the noise. We got Jesse out here. Out here. We out here. We in here, but we out here. We'll check out what I just did. First mod on the RAV4, guys. We just upgraded the sun visors. Now my base model RAV4 has this. This. It's gonna save me. Upgrades, people. Upgrades. What are we upgrading today, Jesse, on the GR Corolla? It's a brand new car. What could you possibly have to do to the GR? Well seeing how the dog bone mount is the same dog bone on the normal Corolla. The car's got too much power for it, so we got a stiffer one. That's gonna get rid of some shock when oh, shifting. Nice. Another nice. Cusco product, made in Japan. Look at that pretty yeah, packaging. True. Dang, look at that thing. You can see it through that little window. Dude, it's like I bought it at Walmart or yeah, something. Yeah, that thing probably sits on a shelf in uh, Japan. Okay, we got PCV right there. We got the general vicinity of the catch can. It's gonna go about right here. We got the brackets here. They should be connecting Similar to the body right here. We got the bracket kind of locked up here. Catch can is installed. Not the most photogenic use of uh, these hoses, but maybe in the future when he gets this, what other upgrade you were talking about? Oh, the secondary valve snorkel. Yeah. So when this here. opens up, it'll suck in cold air instead of the hot air that it's sucking in now. Yeah, so we'll probably change the hoses when you do that. But for now, we got that catch can installed. What's next? We are going to stiffen up our shifting with a dog bone mount. But it's this guy right here. This. This on the OEM one is really open, so it, it's able to move a lot during right. shifting, and it gives you a clunking feeling, right. even when you're trying to like smoothly shift. Right here is what we're changing, and so when it shifts and you want power, immediately this is gonna move a lot. Wow. And this Where does is, it connect to? Oh, right here in this bolt? Yeah, so it's really easy. Oh, okay. um, you could just take off these three bolts, this bolt, whole thing slides out, swap it, slide it back in. Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah. Maybe we might have to use a pole jack to move the engine a little bit. I'm not. Yeah, easy. That didn't even move at all. Dang, that's a big boy. It's a 21. Yes, 21. I 
I think that's a 22. Mm -hmm. You can see all this play in here. Yes. All this is going to create so much motion. And this one's just going to stiffen everything up. Um, it's going to make for a, sh a harsher ride. But race car. But race car. Very interesting way to mount. Is she lined up? Oh, perfect. <laughs> Catch can is installed. We got the dog bone installed. Now it's time for the fun part. Jesse's picking up the big box. Jesse, what's in the box? Hey, 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 watch the car. Why'd you hit my car, man? <laughs> oh, what is that, bro? Fingerprint's already on it. You must have seen it already. You I must did. have peeped. I oh did. my god, this thing looks crazy. This this already comes on in addition of the GR Corolla, right? The, this is the circuit edition wing. Circuit edition wing, and we're gonna be applying it to the Marizo edition style GR Corolla. Wow, dude, it's got some dust on her. Wow, that packing is immaculate. That's some interesting packing. That is some interesting packing for You read sure. on the forms, and on the forms they say, yeah, when you get it from the OEM, uh, it just comes by itself with nothing, and I, so I was really expecting nothing be holding it together but this packaging is way and there's the hardware better. in there i'm sure wing nuts. wow they're not really good but i mean there's wing nuts <laughs> they're there how much was this thing uh they're like 900 oh my gosh and they're hard to get right they're very hard to get yeah these replace those oh and, and they already this. have brackets in them yeah oh that's great hardware five four six dope all labeled ready to go all right. Wow, that fucking fell off. I know. Well, I already pulled it out. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. There's one. Watching a YouTube video. Uh-huh. All right, guys. So if you guys are doing this, you can check in the description. We're going to leave a link to this template right here. It does not come with instructions or a template itself. So luckily, we had this from the other car that we can use. Uh, the three holes here are marked out no problem for us. But the holes on the sides, this template isn't for the spoiler. So it doesn't have the holes on the sides. It's, yeah, these ones are for the uh, <coughs> yeah, these the are different holes. It's supposed to be somewhere closer around this area. Exactly. So what we're using right now is some grease. We're gonna go ahead and like put it right on top of it where the whole area is, so that we're gonna like mock the gonna mock it up to set it down real quick. And wherever the grease lands, that's where we're gonna be drilling. So you guys can see we got our little hole punch made some divots letting us know where we are going to be drilling. All right, so we just get a little guy on the back of this. How to put the two clips on. They just stick right in, easy peasy. So that little window right here, right on the inside of the hatch, allows us access to the three holes there you are. Right. Right. That's gonna be so fucking cool. <laughs> so sick. All right, dudes, tons of fingerprints on it, but we got the spoiler installed, Circuit Edition, on the GR Marizo. I assume this would fit on any Corolla, really. So anybody with a Corolla can pick one of these things up. If you can pick it up. Yeah, if you can get your hands on one. You feel it? The There's vibration. a lot more vibration. There's a lot more vibration, right? Oh my god. <laughs> I thought god, so that's dude. Crazy. Just oh my god. Just when you started it cold. That's that mountain doing some work. Oh, oh my man, gosh. that is I don't know if I like that guy. <laughs> <No. laughs> it's it's pretty rough. That is pretty fucking race car, man. Yeah, at low RPM, for sure. Yeah. There's no clunk, though, when I put the clutch in. That's gone. Oh, no. I mean, uh, when, I, when I released the clutch, that was that was an annoying thing. But now low RPMs are annoying. On the way to Mexico, real quick, guys. Oh, let's go. Oh, my God. Oh, let's fucking go, dude. Oh, 
That's one. rough, huh? She's tough with these tires, especially. Yeah, these tires don't like to slide at all. If it was wet, man, we got a good one right there, though. Oh, there you go! Okay! You hit it again, bro. You hit it again to, <laughs> to hit, the, hit the other side. Hit the e-brake again. Wow, I didn't know it fucking locks up like that. Yeah, no, it, if, you, if you do it right... I oh, see. No, that was ass. I see. There you fucking go, bro. <laughs> and again, right? Oh man, you almost weight transferred it. That would have been so <laughs> fire. Hit, hit it. Hit the e brake right when you're transferring. And that, my dudes, is gonna bring us to the end of today's video. I wanna give you guys a huge thank you for watching all the way to the end. Special guest, Jesse with the GR out here. We wanna bring some more GR content to you guys, so just let us know what you guys wanna see on it. We're thinking about bringing it to the track sometime soon, and if nobody buys a G35, we'll probably be bringing that thing Aaron's out to out the track. Mind, but I'm not. <laughs> we'll probably be bringing the G to the track as well if nobody buys it yet, so. Catch you guys in the next video. See you.